Stratonikea is a rare site in the world of archaeology. Structures from the Hellenistic, Roman, Byzantine, Ottoman and Turkish eras stand side by side. Right now, I'm walking down a cobblestone street paved during the Ottoman era. But just a few generations ago, Turkish people lived in these village houses. If you look closely, you can see the ancient marble fragments that they used in construction, dating back centuries. Walking through the village and imagining the people that lived here, you almost forget that you're in an ancient city. This impressive structure buried under the ground is one of the largest gymnasiums of the ancient world. The excavated portion of this building seems huge, but it's only a small part of the total structure. The gymnasium is estimated at about 267 meters and extends all the way back into the village. To put things into perspective, that's the length of five Olympic pools. Sports had an important place here, and not just at the gymnasium. Stratonikea was a city where gladiators trained, worked, and even spent their life after retirement. You can see some of their graves at the entrance to the ancient city. Leaving the old village, you find yourself somewhere even older. This area is clearly from another era and has many ancient structures scattered throughout. Hocam, biliyorum ki bu kent çok özel bir kent. Ama bir de bunu sizden duymak istiyorum. Bize biraz anlatabilir misiniz? Stalinkaya çok özel bir kent. Ve burada antik dönemden günümüze yapılar ve kalıntılar var. Burada e, klasik var, Helenistik var, Roma var, Bizans var, beylikler var, Osmanlı ve Cumhuriyet var. Biz bu tüm dönemleri bir arada birlikte koruyoruz. Evet. Bir elin parmakları gibi. Siz böyle durduğunuzda, ayağınıza baktığımızda ayağınızın birisinin Helenistik'te, birisinin Osmanlı'da olduğunu, hatta iki ayağınız arasındaki tarih farkının 2200 sene olduğunu görebiliyorsunuz. Bunun hepsini biz bir arada ve birlikte yaşatıyoruz. Yani belirgin farkımız da bu. Çok özel. Gelin antik yapılara bakmaya devam edelim. Ah süper. Batı Caddesi açıyoruz. Yaklaşık 600 metre buraya açılacak ve siz buraya geldiğinizde ister Helenistik ister Roma ister Bizans yolundan yürüyebiliyor olacaksınız. Aha. Hemen caddenin yanında burada latrina var. Yaklaşık bir, bir ay sonra tekrar geldiğinizde burada latrinanın sütunlarını ayakta göreceksiniz. Gerçekten. Bir köşeyi tamamen ve bir diğer tarafta böyle kat kat böyle kademe kademe Aha. göreceksiniz. Ve geldiğinizde siz böyle antik dönemde o 92 kişinin oturduğu o latrinayı onlar nasıl kullandıklarını birebir de oradan görebiliyor olacaksınız. This is the Parliament building of Stratonikea, which despite being over 2,000 years old, has been used continuously throughout its history. On one wall of the Parliament building sits the Hellenistic period calendar of Menepos. It features 12 months with 28, 30, and 31 days, and is even written to accommodate the illiterate. On the other side is a Roman period list of the names and prices of over 200 items. Stratonikea has so much more to explore on site, but there's another location just a few kilometers away that's tied to the city. This grand and monumental gate of Stratonikea leads there to Lagina.
people would leave Stratonikea through this gate and walk the nine kilometer long sacred road to the sanctuary as part of an elaborate ritual. All of this was done for Hecate, the Anatolian goddess of the moon. Now let's do the same and go to Lagina. This is the only known temple dedicated to Hecate and the site of wonderful festivals that would last for days. I'm entering the sanctuary just as they did centuries ago through the monumental Propylone. The first thing I noticed was the writing on these walls, a reminder that it was real people just like us who used these perfect, magnificent structures. Spectators attending the rituals would take a left here where there were rows and rows of seats waiting for them. The priests would walk between the columns and reach the ceremonial altar the best preserved in Anatolia. I must say, this is one of the most serene locations we've visited so far. And it's very moving to imagine huge crowds walking here for this shared sacred experience. This location is also known as one of the first dig sites of Osman Hamdi Bey, the pioneer of museum curation in Turkey. I hope you enjoyed our explorations of Stratonikea and Legina as much as I did. There's history everywhere you look. Even one of the beautiful olive trees here is over a thousand years old. There's just one thing left for us to explore here, the delicious and ancient flavors of the region. Stay tuned to Turkish Museums.